Hello. Today's session is all about mindset. One of the biggest pitfalls that I find for building consistency when it comes to those good habits that are going to re help you reach your health goals is what I like to call effort syndrome or the effort mindset. Today, we're going to dig into this and explore how you can identify when this is happening to you and how to walk yourself out of effort syndrome. So first, a lot of times there's an action you're going out with your friends, you overindulge, maybe it's the margaritas, maybe it's the chips and queso, maybe it's the ice cream, whatever it happens to be. And it just takes you days to get back on the plan. Often it's not so much about the action you're taking. You don't need more willpower to muscle through getting back on your plan the next day. You also don't need to restrict and say to yourself, I can't enjoy myself with my friends. There is another way and we need to think first about thoughts. So if the thought that's running through your head is everyone else is enjoying themselves by indulging, F it, I'm going to do it too. If I don't, I'm not going to have fun. That puts you into a place where you're just throwing up your hands and letting all those good habits go because if you stick with your habits in some way, shape, or form, there's a fear that you're not going to have fun. And now we got to think about how you feel. So I mentioned fear. You may also feel when you think these thoughts out of control, frustrated, or restricted if there's some guilt involved about enjoying yourself. So what's the result? Don't feel any better. You're not able to get back onto your habits right after you have that indulgent meal. You don't feel good about making the choice to have the indulgent meal. You're just not feeling great about anything around food at the moment. And of course, this isn't supporting your big health goals either. So what we want to do here is we want to change the thoughts. We change our thoughts. It shifts our feelings the things that feel good so that we have the power to change the action. We need that good feeling to sort of motivate us to change the action. And it's way more positive to be motivated by a good feeling than to be shamed by a bad feeling. So let's examine that thought again. The old thought is everyone else is enjoying themselves by indulging. F it, I'm doing it too. If I don't, I'm not going to have fun. Now, what if you could eat that meal and get back on track? You have one indulgent meal a week that is not going to derail your goals. What if you say, I am worthy of enjoying myself. I trust myself to be mindful about indulging in desserts or eating the salad. Whatever I choose to do with this meal is going to be the right thing. Those old feelings, those bad feelings, out of control, frustrated, restricted, fearful, are replaced by new feelings, secure, focused, happy, in control. So the old action is that it's really hard to stop old overindulgence once it starts. The new action is all about your choice. You can choose to indulge or not, but you know that the plan, regardless of what you eat at that meal with friends, is to pick right back up with my nutrition plan at the next meal. You can absolutely do this too. I find it so helpful to sit down with a notepad, a pen, kind of write this out, write down the thoughts you might find yourself experiencing um, in a certain situation, write down the feelings. And then I always like to go back to the feelings piece first and think of the feelings that I want to feel that are going to motivate me to make the actionable change that I want to see. I hope this was so helpful for you, and I hope to see you soon.